Anthem was one of the biggest and best reveals of this year's E3. It's got so many people excited. It looks beautiful and dangerous, and while there's still many question marks over it, it's safe to say that people are, for the most part, optimistic about the game. If you're in the same boat as us and can't wait to see more of the game, we've got some interesting information for you. Remember how the reveal trailer originally started off in first person view and then switched to third person? The game's director, Jonathan Warner, has confirmed that the game will be in first person view when players are in the hub areas and in third person view while exploring the game's outside world. Probable implication being that whenever you're outside your exosuit, the game will be first person, whereas when you're in your exosuit, it will be third person. Warner has also confirmed that the awesome jetpack flight mechanics we saw in the trailer will be completely player controlled in the game, which is nothing if not awesome news. In addition to that, Warner also sent out a tweet saying, talking about the game's soundtrack. Guerrilla Games Horizon Zero Dawn has made a strong impact since releasing in February 2017, selling 3.4 million copies and receiving tons of critical acclaim. As if in response to the same, Microsoft is planning its very own AAA that will take its cues from the open world action RPG. On LinkedIn, recruiting firm G3D posted a listing for a lead environment artist for Microsoft AAA next gen title that would be similar to Horizon Zero Dawn. The listing emerged some two months ago and was first spotted by MS Power user. It's interesting to see Microsoft pursuing such a title, especially when it had scale bound by Platinum Games also attempting an open world action RPG style of gameplay before being cancelled. It could be that this new title is a more down to earth, gritty title like Horizon Zero Dawn. Hideo Kojima's Death Stranding has all eyes on it in spite of its rather bizarre concept and aesthetic because, well, it is a Hideo Kojima game, and of course it would command attention due to the cachet that Kojima's name commands. However, interestingly enough, thus far, we've seen truly nothing of the game. We've seen two surreal concept trailers, but no gameplay footage. We have no idea what the gameplay looks like, but we may know soon enough. Speaking to The Telegraph, PlayStation's America boss Sean Layden said that he's played it and the first glimpse of the game in action may be coming soon too. It's up and running and it's been aided tremendously after Kojima-san decided to co-opt the Decima engine from Guerrilla Games, Layden said, and gosh, that really gave him a leg up to get up and running and test it and have some prototype levels running. I have actually played some of it. Of course, it's still clearly early days for the project, with work only beginning in earnest this year. With the Horizon Zero Dawn engine already established though, we shouldn't have to wait too long to get our first tease of the title in action. Hopefully it's before the end of this year, it would certainly make for a great closer at the PlayStation experience this year, if nothing else. While Microsoft may have drawn a line in the sand with the Xbox One X, proclaiming that we're now in a world beyond traditional console generations, and Nintendo may have sidestepped the traditional generational progression entirely, Sony apparently still believes in the conventional understanding of what a console generation is. Speaking to German outlet Golem.de, PlayStation's America boss Sean Layden said that the company will definitely make a PlayStation 5, as it will represent the next step forward for Sony as a whole, though he did also add that it will be a while before PS5 does happen. So if anyone thought that the PS4 Pro meant Sony would be moving to a rolling hardware model, it doesn't seem like the company has any interest in doing that just yet. Layden also specifically noted that PS4 Pro exclusive games, games that only run on the PS4 Pro, but not on the standard PS4 or PS4 Slim systems, will never happen either. Both of these are in line with what Sony had previously said, so it should be clear now that even though Microsoft may be following its own trajectory and Nintendo its own, Sony will continue to stick with what has worked for it so far. The big problem with Xbox is its complete lack of exciting exclusives. Microsoft's first party has never been in as dire straits as it is right now, and this E3 only confirmed a suspicion many have had for a while now. Microsoft doesn't really have many games to induce excitement for its products. Many have now concluded that Halo, Gears, Forza, as well as one-offs like Sea of Thieves and Crackdown are all that there is. However, Microsoft executives insist that there are more Xbox One games that are in development and currently unannounced. It's a fine balance of how much do you show early, marketing boss Aaron Greenberg said. I can tell you that there are a lot of projects happening for Xbox with a lot of big titles that we're not talking about today. Insomnia game Spider-Man earned its fair share of accolades at E3 2017, but many are wondering about the number of villains to be expected. We know that Mr. Negative and Wilson Fisk, aka Kingpin, will be factors, but what about some of the more infamous villains in the universe? According to creative director Brian Intahar, in an interview with Electric Playground at E3 2017, there's a pretty big cast in the game. Villains, of course, are a part of it. We have a great cast, and Peter is just one of many, many characters we have in the game. It's a big, big cast. We have a lot of classic villains, and we have a lot of newcomers as well. 
We'll have to wait and find out which villains made the cut and which didn't, but it seems safe to bet that Green Goblin, Dr. Octopus, or even Mysterio could make an appearance in some shape or form. Which villains are you hoping to see? Let us know in the comments below. That'll be it for this video. If you like what we're doing, please go ahead and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.